Hey everyone, it's me Jeffrey, and today we're doing another creepypasta, and this time, we haven't done this in a while, but it's a gaming creepypasta. Today we're doing a, a Mario Kart creepypasta called The Game That Listens. Now, this story's a bit short, so I'm gonna read it word for word, so yeah, I'm gonna do that word for word because it, it's short, but it's pretty good. So let's not waste more time, let's get to the story. <clears throat> the story starts with me. I purchased a game called Mario Kart Super Circuit. Well, as you can tell, this game is a Mario game. The plumber from the Mushroom Kingdom that has to save the princess all the time. I got the game from Game Station quite a while ago. The checkout man handed me the game and I paid very little as it was old, pre-owned game. At the time, I asked if the game was faulty and he replied, Oh right, the game is in 100% working order. So I, brought, I bought the game and then he stopped me and said that the woman who sent the game back said she loved this game but she had to leave it as it creeped her out and she thought she was going insane when she left the game the clerk said it also says tgtl on the back i asked what it meant and he said that he was never told and that i will never know so i walked home and i realized that the clerk said that the game nearly made the woman insane but i still played it the game started as normal played pretty well and other than the writing on the back, it was in really good condition. So I was really happy that I could play the game and not worry. One time something weird happened as I was playing the game. I played on Bowser's Castle 1 and I was doing extremely well. So I started to mock the CPU saying how they suck at the game and such. As, my, as just a boy, my imagination was at its wildest. But when mocking the game, I heard a loud static and then heard an unexplainable noise and then the game froze which threw me off a bit, but as a kid, I thought my imagination was just getting the better of me, so I kept playing. When I started the game again, it it still played normally, and I wondered what went wrong. When I pr processed it with my young mind, I thought the game was in a worse condition than I initially thought, or it was just coincidence, but even my assumptions were wrong. I couldn't... I, could, I didn't play the game until about a week later, forgetting about the coincidence. I carried on with the game and I said it played normally until I shouted the game because I lost a race at, that I really need to win. And then the game did the same thing as last time, went all the stack and then froze. But seeing this was not a coincidence, I turned it off and then turned it back on straight again. Doing this is what I regret. As soon as I turned it on, the game did something really odd. It showed a white screen and the text and the voice came out of my Game Boy. The text was black and mostly expected. The voice coming out of the speaker sounded like a calm woman. She said hi. I was extremely scared so I did not speak. The screen flashed red and her calm voice was broken into a horrible croaky voice. Which sounded like she had seen the child get murdered. Answer me, she shouted. So I said hi. Her voice then turned back into a calm voice and I talked to her extremely confused. At the time I was playing the game, I was on my own, and I was too scared to move from where I was. After a while, we talked a bit, and said that her name was Sandra, but she called herself Tugtile when in that demonic voice. When I got comfortable, she told me some things that gave extremely little information. As I got used to talking to her, she suddenly stopped at talking, and all I could hear was ripping and tearing. No visual content. Suddenly, the game's main screen showed Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad all sleeping or dead, and the game blacked out. I was of course watching without any movement. I was frightened. It then faded back to the white screen, and I said after a few minutes, Hello. There was no answer. I decided to say hello again, and then the game made a clicking noise, and then showed Mario's head twisting. Every time I said a word, Mario's actions differed. I said Sandra, and Mario closed his eyes. I said hello again and Mario opened them. I then said hello for a final time and Mario s smiled demonically, his head spinning. This continued for a long time and then he started laughing maniacally. I waited for a few more minutes but nothing but the sound of the static getting louder was heard. I turned off the Game Boy as I stood frozen in place thinking, staring into the blackness of the screen, I managed to turn on the Game Boy another time. It started normally, the game was back to normal and has been fine since this moment in history. Still makes me freeze when I think about it, but luckily it has never happened again. What happened after that day, I had a few reoccurring nightmares every now and then, but that was only that happened for a week or two and then the nightmares left my system for good. I also did not play the game after testing one track for about 3 months. My memory of, of what I talked about to Sandra is quite weak. 
I think I got six questions, but I only remember three. This is because I was scared of what happened at the end of my unbearable journey. Question one, who are you? Answer, my name is Sandra. Question two, Sandra, what does TGTL stand for? Answer number two, the game that listens. Question three, are you a real person, Sandra? Answer three, of course, you're speaking to me right now. I may not be here with you, but we are still talking. This is all I can remember, so I'm very sorry, but please be careful of what you buy. You never know what could happen. Okay, that was a pretty interesting ending. Now, granted, I, I am quite surprised that this sto this creepypasta didn't use, like, the, say, the whole blood or gore cliche. Like, instead, it just gives you a visual experience that was just, cr it, it was just eerie. Now... The thing I am surprised about is about the Sandra person. Like, I, I did research if there was, like, someone related, named Sandra and if she was related to Nintendo, and sadly, I got no answer. Meaning, this story is fictional. Now, grand aside, seeing a game that responds to your voice like that, it for the Game Boy Advance purpose, like, that is pretty interesting. Like, the first time we got a game that responded to our voice was, well... Let's say Nintendogs for the DS, but like this was before Nintendogs. Now, another thing about the Sandra entity is like, what if he was actually talking to a ghost or something? Like, <laughs> like imagine if he was talking to Timothy the Ghost Engine. Yeah, and then my final thing is like, if you were to play the game and it started responding to your voice or something like if you were like freaking out or something like that would be pretty interesting now granted aside this creepypasta didn't need to use blood or gore just a creepy experience that goes with the player and i find that pretty decent anyways what did you think of this creepypasta and what would you change to make it better like if you like dislike if you dislike share favorite comment subscribe this is jeffrey samberski signing out